we will learn about plant tissue, meristematic tissue. All living beings are made up of cells. The cell is a fundamental, structural and functional unit of life. In different organisms, there are different number of cells. In some organisms, one cell is itself the entire organism. Organisms whose body is made up of single cell are called unicellular organisms. In such organisms, the single cell carries out all fundamental functions like movement, food intake, gaseous exchange and excretion. And in other organisms, many cells combine to form one organism. Organisms whose body is made up of more than one cell are called multicellular organisms. In such organisms, cells form different groups in which each group performs a specific function. For example, in plants, the cells of conducting vessels transport food and water from one place to the other. In the same way, in humans, the muscle cells contract and relax. This results in movement and blood transports oxygen, food, hormones and waste products. In this way, the various functions of body are divided into different groups of cells. This we call as division of labor. Therefore, different organs of body perform different functions. In the body, a specific function is performed by a specific group of cells at a definite place. This group of cells is called a tissue. For example, xylem, skin, blood, muscles are tissues. All the cells of tissue have the same shape and together perform one function. Due to special organization of cells and the division of labor, all body functions are performed with high efficiency. We know that plants cannot move from one place to other and they stand upright in one place. Therefore, in plants, supportive tissues are present in large amount, which provides them with structural strength. Now, since dead cells can provide structural strengths, just like living cells, and dead cells require less maintenance. Therefore, the supportive tissues are made up of dead cells. In contrast, Animals can move from one place to other. That's why animals consume more energy as compared to plants. Due to this, most of the tissues of animals are living. Talking about plant tissues, some plant tissues keep dividing throughout their life, so their growth is limited in some areas. Whereas cell growth in animals is more uniform. Therefore, plants and animals have different types of tissues. Now, let us understand plant tissue, meristem in detail. On the basis of division capacity of plant tissue, plant tissues are classified into meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. The tissues of plants whose cells are actively dividing throughout their life are called dividing tissue, also called meristematic tissue. In plants, meristematic tissues are found in certain specific areas. Due to this, plant growth takes place only in certain specific areas. The function of meristematic tissue is to grow plants. On the basis of the area where meristematic tissue is present in plants, meristematic tissue is classified into apical meristem, lateral meristem, and intercalary meristem. The apical meristem is present in the growth part of roots and stems and increases the length of the roots and stems. Similarly, the lateral meristem increases the circumference of the stem and root and lateral meristem is also called cambium. The intercalary meristem is present in the leaf base 
and near the internodes of the stem, which increases the length of stem and leaves. The cells of meristematic tissue divide, that's why they are highly active. They have dense cytoplasm, clear nucleus, and have thin cell wall. Cells of meristematic tissue do not need to store nutrients. That's why they do not have vacuole. The new cells formed from meristem are initially similar to the meristem, but as they grow and mature, their properties gradually change and they divide as components of other tissues and works with other tissues. So today we have learned about plant tissue, meristematic tissue. tissue.